not merely seeing reality. It is touching the truth. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Chronic Gamer. My name is Matt and this is my final thoughts and redirect for episode 67 of My Hero Academia. Um, this was a great episode. Not a whole lot I'm going to be able to say in this final thoughts because I said a lot of it at the end of my actual reaction. But um, a few things I just want to touch up on again is Midoriya having a really tough decision at the beginning of this episode with that girl. Um, I forget her name. Aya or something like that. Ari. I think it was Ari. Um, she basically, um, she basically asked him for help, but there was nothing he could do because it would blow their cover and, and they would let on to that Yakuza leader guy that, uh, that they are investigating him and they couldn't let that happen. Um, what's his name? Uh, the dude who, uh, Namillion, whatever his real name is, um, he played it cool the whole time, though. He was able to keep a calm and level head and, you know, influence Midoriya to not blow the cover or or anything bad like that because it would ultimately lead to their defeat. They wouldn't be able to find him. He might flee. He might win. All sorts of stuff could have happened and gone wrong there. Um, so he was able to keep a level head, which was great. Um, but it's a tough decision you know, you don't blame Midoriya for for asking about it and 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 trying to inquire about why she would be asking him for help running away from her father and why she's got bandages all over her. It's really tough. So um, I totally get it. I, I get his concern. So, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we got to find out that uh, All Might is probably going to kick the bucket soon. Night Eye was able to predict it a long time ago, and it's coming up to around the time that he predicted it happening. And um, he's going to try to fight his fate and, and live a little longer for Midoriya's sake. And uh, I hope that he is able to at least see Midoriya become the symbol of peace before he dies. But I don't know. It's um, definitely concerning, but it's not anything that's very surprising. I kind of thought he was going to die last season, um, but he ended up surviving that fight with um, All for One. So, uh, yeah. Um, the Yakuza guy's got a very interesting quirk, and I'm thinking it might be disease-related. Um, it's also very interesting that there was like a chair, like uh, it looked like a medical facility, where it looked like he was going to put Ari. I think her name is Ari. I'm just going to say Ari if I'm wrong, then oh well. But... He uh, looks like he was going to put her in that chair. So I'm wondering if she has anything to do with the um, reason why they're wearing masks instead of instead of uh, him. I thought that maybe his quirk was disease related because he like injected it. If you remember, he kind of like injected it into the guy and he exploded. But um, I don't know. Plus the weird pox on his face. I have a lot of questions. Um, I'm hoping that they give me answers to that soon. We get to find out what his cork is. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, there's not a whole lot you can say. It's just the one episode. But uh, I'm really enjoying this. I can't wait to see where this season goes because I love My Hero Academia. Um, let me know what you think about this episode or the show in particular. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Chronic Gamer. Peace.